Frank Hornby uh, was born in Liverpool in 1863 and he founded one of the biggest toy empires in the world. He had an idea to make a construction toy for his children. He had two sons and a daughter and he made some perforated metal strips and used nuts and bolts to build a crane. So he patented his idea for the Meccano. It was originally called Mechanics Made Easy, but he didn't just invent Meccano. He also invented Hornby trains and dinky toys. In 1920, you could buy your first Hornby train, so it was a construction set to make a train. By 1925, you could buy ready-made, very realistic versions of real locomotives from real railway companies. To populate the railway layouts, they also introduced Hornby railway accessories, I think it was about 1923, but these eventually developed into what we know as dinky toys and were a series of figures like you would find maybe on a railway station, but also a range, a huge range of cars, vans, wagons, lorries, and absolutely loved, beloved by many people. Hornby was really clever with his advertising as well and the way he presented his goods uh, in fantastically designed boxes. Beautiful adverts, mainly with boys, with shirt and tie and a little pullover on, having a great time making their Meccano model. He introduced Meccano magazine, he introduced Meccano guilds, um, which were set up to foster hard work, clean mindedness and dedication in the Meccano boy. It was all focused on boys, <laughs> although I myself used my brother's Meccano sets a lot more than he did, so girls could have fun with Meccano as well.